Hey guys, so here I have an Inspiron 5490 all-in-one computer that I basically have to change the fan because the fan is making noise. So I just wanted to show you this. I didn't have to even use any tools. I brought this to open it, but I just used my hand and I basically just pulled here on this side. It's all like plastically snapped on there. So I just snapped it on this side all the way. Then I did the same thing on this side here and all the way around. And then it just opens up. Super simple. It literally took me like two minutes to open this. And then once you open it up, you can see the motherboard is in this side, this casing right here. Here's the hard drive. It comes with a spinning hard drive. It's a Seagate. So that's something that could be upgradable to an SD drive very easily because it just would go here and it would actually improve the speed of this computer. Um, here's the fan with the radiator for it for the cooling system. So now the only other thing I need to do to unplug this little piece that goes in here is to move, remove these screws here. And um, these screws right here, once I remove that, this should pop out and I should be able to unplug this and then plug this one in. All right, so that's what I'm doing next. All right, so I took off all the four screws that were around it. I had to wiggle it up for it to come off. There's no screws on this side. I thought there was, but there wasn't. Um, so then this came off. So this here is the, um, the 2032 uh, battery that stores the date and time. So if you're ever having a problem where it resets the time when you turn it off and turn it on, you just replace this guy over here. Uh, this right here is one of the Wi-Fi chips. I think this one is going to be the Bluetooth, if I'm not mistaken. I think this might be Bluetooth there. And essentially what we're gonna do is this fan here, there's a cable that goes hip here. So here we wiggle this off and then this easily just comes off and there's two little latches here and you just slide it off. So once you slide it off, then here's the old one. And then we're gonna grab the new one right over here. And it's the same thing. We're just gonna put this back in here. We're going to plug it into this right here. So here, you essentially can just push it in. There's no locks or anything on this. You just push it in. So there it's in. We're gonna screw this back in here and that's ready to go. If you need to add more memory to this, it's super simple. Uh, all you're gonna do is, um, here it already has two chips. So I don't have to do anything to that, to add it. But essentially, if you were adding memory chips, you basically, you pull this out like this. When you pull it out with your hands, you can see how it automatically springs up. This lets you take out the memory, and then you can put a new memory. Or maybe you bought it and there was only one memory and there wasn't the memory here. So you can buy a, a memory chip like this. And same thing, you just angle it in. Once it's all the way in, you can't see the golden uh, contacts anymore. Then you can just snap it back down. Just push down and there it just snaps into place. So that's essentially how you do that. Um, and that's essentially it, it's super simple for this uh, device. To uh, Here it says Wi-Fi, so actually this is the Wi-Fi chips. Yeah, that's what I said. That's Bluetooth here, and this must be the Wi-Fi chip right there. And the main CPU, I'm assuming is down over here on this uh, Intel-based machine, and, um, and the hard drive is here. So if you're replacing the hard drive, same thing. You can just basically unscrew this here, slide this out, pops off, by a SATA, or not a SATA, by a SSD uh, drive, and you can then, same thing, put it in here and then just slide it in. All right, that's what it looks like. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you like and subscribe, and if you really like this content, you can give me a thanks. Thanks a lot. Bye.